Hey guys, Mr. Google here to review the latest dark comedy, no wait, mainstream comedy, no wait, dark comedy and mainstream, the latest comedy from director Jake Kazdan, who directed Orange County, Walk Hard, The Dewey Cox Story, Zero Effect, and the TV set. It stars Cameron Diaz, Jason Siegel, Justin Timberlake, Eric Stone Street, John Michael Higgins, Molly Shannon, and Lucy Punch. It follows the teacher, uh, Elizabeth Halsey, played by Cameron Diaz, to perfection, and she really has one motive in life, and that is to get a boob job and find a rich husband so she can mooch off. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. I was disappointed in this film, but I still had a good time with it. I mean, I had a lot of good laughs with it. Um, let's start with the cast. I mean, Cameron Diaz was fantastic in this film. Like, whatever her character was, like, conversing with her students... She didn't, like, hold back her, uh, at all. Her character was very well written, and I know a lot of people have been complaining that her character gets away with too many things, and that's true, but she's so... She, like, Cameron Diaz brings a lot of charm to her character and likability that we end up rooting for her anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But whenever she was conversing with her students, it was just freaking hysterical. Jason Siegel, great actor, does a great job in this film. Eric Stone Street and Phyllis from The Office, uh, they are fantastic in this film. They are scene stealers galore. Um, Eric Stone Street, he was in four scenes exactly, and he was hilarious every single time. I mean, if you don't know Eric Stone Street, he's uh, Cameron on Modern Family, so you definitely got to see that. I mean, this is that's a great show. And Phyllis from The Office, I mean, The Office, my my favorite show ever. And she's so awkward in this film, but she's so likable. And I just love Phyllis from The Office. As for Justin Timberlake and Lucy Punch, let's start with Justin Timberlake. Uh, one of the most disappointing f uh, performances I've seen this year, and I have to agree with Lisa like Critic 75, the guy was just bored. He was bored in this film, and he's a good... He can act. Timberlake can act. If you haven't seen The Social Network, fucking see that movie. He, can, he did a fantastic job in that film. And an underrated job in that film, if I should say that. So, in this, he definitely disappointed me. And there was a lot of opportunities where his character could have been funny, but it just wasn't. And Lucy Punch, uh, I fucking hate her. And her character was just terrible. And she was she her motive did not feel sincere because she was just not funny. And she was just... She, she had a relationship with Justin Timberlake in the movie that I didn't feel any chemistry between them whatsoever. So when it came to her, you know, backstabbing Cameron Diaz, it just did not feel sincere one bit, and I just didn't buy it. Uh, and I, you know, I that was, she was definitely the only problem I had with Dinner for Schmucks, and I just don't want to see her in movies ever again. And she's like the exact opposite of Kristen Wiig, because she lacks the charm and likability that Kristen Wiig has. So that's that. Um, as for the big problem of this movie, and I kind of said this in the beginning, it is the tone. This movie doesn't know what it wants to be. It, it doesn't know if it wants to be a dark comedy. It doesn't know if it wants to be a mainstream comedy. It doesn't know if it wants to like mesh those two things together. It just doesn't know. A good movie, a movie that actually did that very, very well, and it was my favorite comedy of last year. Due date. I know a lot of people can hate me for that, but that movie did a did great job doing that, mixing mainstream and dark comedy in one, and it was fantastic, that film. And the writers of this film, they wrote Year One, for your information, and I don't think anybody liked that movie, me neither. And just a heads up, they're writing Ghostbusters 3, so, yeah. Kazdan does a pretty good job directing this film, even though I... I Thought he could have did a little bit better job, but still a pretty commendable job on his hand. So that's that. But Cameron Diaz, Jason Siegel, Eric Stern Street, and Phyllis Smith are all fantastic in this film. And I know it sounded like I was bombing on this movie, but I'm not. I, I you know, I'm gonna give this movie a. a it's it's like a seven or a seven and a half. But since I was nice, I'm giving it a seven and a half because. This movie had a lot of problems, and I'm not going to lie about that, so I recommend it as a DVD watch, not nothing really else more, so I was pretty disappointed by it. I'll give it a 7.5 out of 10. I'll be back for my review for Horrible Bosses, Zookeeper, and The Tree of Life. I'm Mr. Google, and I'm out.